So I want to introduce you to uh, another cello of mine, one that I absolutely love. It's a French cello that was actually created uh, in 1806. Um, the name of the maker is Perrin, and he also made a number of violins. And uh, uh, this uh, is an absolutely gorgeous cello that has a buttery tone when you play it. Um, you can see that uh, unlike my other cello, which had a a bright red chestnut color that this has an amber color um, and as you can see both the front and interestingly uh, the back of the cello are made of a single piece uh, it's uh, not uncommon for the front of the cello to be made of a single piece but as you can see here very clearly that the back of this cello is a single piece and that's uh, really important for an old cello because uh, a common place that uh, an older cello will actually break is at the seam between the two pieces on the back um, and also some people believe that a cello that has a single piece in the front and the back uh, sound even better. I actually think that they're great cellos uh, with a single piece and two pieces coming together at the back but um, this one is uh, really nice and special. Um, there are different kinds of bows that I have. Um, this uh, cello actually responds better to a lighter bow. Uh, my uh, Italian cello that I introduced you to uh, earlier um, responds uh, better to a heavier cello, a heavier bow. So that's uh, my Perrin cello and um, it's something that I've only had for a little bit over nine months or so I think. Thank you. 